Hello everybody, my name is Jonas Wendorf and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to color correct your images and add a little contrast to them. In this video we are going to use this starting image here and go right to finish it to this point here. Okay, let's start all over again. I'm going to delete all my layers and now the first thing we're going to do is color correct our image. For this I'm going to option or alt click on my curves adjustment layer and introduce a new layer named color correction. Press OK. And now what we are going to do is use our info palette and find points that we know should be neutral. For this I'm going to activate my eyedropper tool. Sample size should be a 3 by 3 average and sample all layers. Now for example I know that the lightest part of any cloud should be neutral. So what I'm going to do is activate my red channel because this is the only one with 230 that is off. In RGB neutrality is defined as all channels being equal. And so I'm going to click on the option or Alt 3 to go to the red channel. Command click to set a point in my curves. And I'm just going to use my down arrow key to lower this point to about 280. Now we're going to look for another part. For example here, the neutrals in whites. And for this I'm going to control and shift click to add a point three of the channels. Sorry. And I'm going to use Alt 4 to go to the green channel. And I'm going to add a little green to get to 222. And of course add a little blue. get to 221, that's close enough. Okay, the next thing I see is, a new, is uh, metal down here, it would be neutral as well. It isn't, the green's a little off, so I'm going to use optional alt 4 and command click or control click and the green channel and just lower this point so that this area is neutral as well. Okay, this looks very nice and color correct. So what I'm going to do now is change the blending mode of this layer to color because all I want to do with this layer is correct the color cast and not introduce any shift in luminosity because this is what we are going to do next. Now I'm going to add a new black and white adjustment layer, call it luminosity, and change the mode to luminosity as well. Okay, what I can do with this now is use my target adjustment tool and just click on colors which from which I want to change the luminosity and I can just drag it to the left to lower the luminosity or drag it to the right to make areas brighter. For this I'm going to darken my sky a little. And the next thing I want to do is create a stamp of all the visible layers to do a little channel blending. For this I'm going to alt click on layer and choose merge visible. I'm going to call this layer luminosity as well. And now I'm going to go to my channels palette and analyze the individual channels. For example, we have the red channel here with a very, very dark sky, but it's a little noisy. We have the green channel here, looks okay, a little flat. And we've got the blue channel here, which is the flattest of them all. For starters I'm going to activate my red channel and now for the channel blending 
I'm using the image, apply image the whole time. Source should be my actual image, layer should be merged, and the channel I'm going to use first on the red channel is the green channel. And I'm going to lighten my red channel with my green channel at about 60% opacity to get rid of the noise. Next I want to increase the contrast of this channel a little and for this I'm going to use apply image once again. Once again I'm going to use green channel but this time on soft light mode to add a little contrast to this channel. Okay, that looks very nice. So I'm going to activate my green channel and move on with red. Apply image once again. I'm going to add contrast with my blue channel because this was very flat. And so there's great possibility of adding contrast with it. And I'm going to darken my sky a little. For this I'm going to use the red channel because the red channel was the darkest in the sky at about 50% opacity. And now as my last step I'm going to activate my blue channel, use apply image and use for example the green channel on overlay mode, reduce the opacity to 50%. Oh, let's make it 60. Okay. So basically what I did now was um, create a great looking black and white image in the blue, the green and the red channel. But when I go back to the composite now we can see that also the contrast is very good. The colors are way off. And because I don't care at all about the colors I'm just going to tell Photoshop to just use the luminosity of this layer. And as you can see, now we have with no color shift. The last method I want to show you for adding contrast is to use a curse adjustment layer, which I'm going to name contrast, and I'm going to set the mode to luminosity as well. In this layer, I'm just going to use my target adjustment tool to, for example, increase, lighten. Yeah, I'm going to lighten the sky just a little and brighten my clouds a little. I'm going to increase my contrast down here, lighten the clouds even further. My blue channel, I want to lighten the overall thing. Okay, that looks nice. Now for the last part, I want to really make the stars and stripes pop a little. And so what I'm going to do is once again hold down my Alt key or Option key, choose Layer, Merge Visible. For this one lab, go to filter, convert for smart filters, and now we're going to lab mode. I'm going to double click on the smart object and use we're going to use edit, convert to profile, and destination space should be lab. Once again we're going to add a curves adjustment layer, last one call it color boost and we're going to activate the A channel that is the green and magenta axis and I'm going to increase steepness in the A channel so that everything green and magenta gets exaggerated and you can see already that the stripes now really pop. I'm furthermore going to add a fixing point to zero, 00 to make sure that um, we don't introduce any new color shifts to our image. 
and next we're going to our B channel do the same thing with but the curve shouldn't be just as deep and so with this little curve we also introduced or boosted the color a little okay if you're happy with it just close the file and save it okay that's it we've gone from this image here to this image. I hope you enjoyed it, learned a thing or two. If you have any questions, feel free to email me Jonas underscore Renorth at web.de or just Skype me Jonas W234. Goodbye.